Hello and welcome to my first Maya video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be taking this default cube and mirroring the geometry of it. Say if this cube were a head model. I only want to model one side of the head that way I won't be spending twice the amount of time modeling the head. It just makes more sense to model half of it and then you got the other half instead of modeling two halves and you have a you have a whole ugly mess if you try to do something like that. So just work on one half and then mirror it. And how you're going to do that is you're going to just simply make sure you delete the geometry on your on one of your sides of your mesh and make sure that your pivot point by pressing zero on the numpad and then holding V and moving your pivot point to a vertice then hitting W to tell it that you're done moving your pivot point. Okay? And you move that pivot point to the seam of the model. So just take a ver put it on top of a vertice that's at the seam of your model. And then you're good to go. So go up to edit, duplicate special, press the box. Okay, let's put uh, default settings. Alright. I'm going to turn on geometry type to instance and group under parent. Alright. So let's go down here, scale. All right. B before I change these values, I gotta show you guys something. Okay. Translate. The first box is the x-axis. Second box is the y-axis. Third box is the z-axis. And it is the same for every box below the translate. X-axis, y-axis, z-axis, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. Okay. So change your x-axis axis to negative one instead of one, then hit apply, and now that's an instance parent, you can close that, and you'll notice that I can select the um, one of my sides of the cube, and I can move around the geometry, I can even add a few splits in here, and I can tweak it like that, and you'll notice that Whatever I change on one side, the other side will mimic what I changed on the first side. So that's how you're going to um, mirror your geometry, and it's very useful if you're modeling a head. If you're modeling anything that's organic, it's especially useful when you're doing organic modeling. And that's going to conclude this tutorial, and if you want to donate, which would allow me to be able to put more time into these video tutorials, if you donate like a buck or two, just go to paypal.com and enter this information here on my YouTube channel and you can donate like 50 cents and you know it's the, it's the thought that counts so just like even a penny I can respect that so donate anything that you want to donate and then and then I'll create more tutorials so thanks for watching